right, thank you very much, Rob. When it comes to computers, everything seems to be getting smaller and smaller, except for the new iPad, which is going to be massive, apparently. Um, but before you go out and purchase the iPad or the tablet, our resident nerd on call, Ryan Eldridge, has some information for you because it's not always better to go smaller. It isn't. And you know, well, the Big Apple event's happening today, which yes. let me just say that is Christmas time for nerds around the world. We yeah, it one hour, exciting. we're still counting. One hour. So, first, first of all, laptops sell more than desktops these days. When, when we first started in 2004, desktops were the king. Right. But laptops have become better and better and better, and faster and faster and faster, but they're also smaller and lighter. And thinner, yeah. right. The issue with a laptop is you can't really do much with it in terms of upgrades, or if something breaks, you're pretty much out. You're gonna have to go and mm. get a new one or take it to a repair shop, and sometimes that can cut, set you back hundreds of dollars. Right. And ugh, with a desktop, you don't have to worry about all that stuff. In fact, you can do a lot of upgrades and repairs on your own using YouTube. Can you? <laughs> YouTube, okay, there YouTube we go. instruction videos, um, and, and also you go to different tech forums. But there's some easy upgrades you can do yourself that are really amazing. Okay, you so ready? first of all, I just have to say, it depends on your lifestyle and what you need the computer for first, right? Because well, not everyone can carry this on a plane. Yeah, that's Ryan. true. If, if you need yeah. something that you're going to be traveling with, laptop's still going to rule the roost. Right. But when it comes to like a family computer, something that everybody's going to use. At home or in yeah, one place. And you're going to get a lot more life out of a desktop PC than a laptop. Laptops don't age very well. Right. They just kind of, you know, they're like TV stars. They're just like, ugh. <laughs> but on a, on a Except desktop. Except for Walt Gray. <laughs> Keeps going, yeah. Okay. But, it, but a desktop, you can continuously upgrade it and make it better and better and better and keep it up all the way from, from uh, high school age all the way through college. Wow. That's yeah, pretty cool. Okay. So here's some easy upgrades yeah. that you can Let do. Let us know. So the first thing that you want to do is RAM. RAM is the cheapest upgrade you can do. RAM used to be super expensive, cost you $100 or more just to upgrade it. Now RAM chips are very inexpensive. You can get them for under 20 bucks in most cases. So go to a place called crucial.com okay. and it'll scan your PC and determine what kind of RAM you can take. And then there's just some little slots in here that these just slide right into. It's you very, make very that easy. sound very easy, but that looks extremely confusing to me. It's really easy. The RAM chip is pretty much, you can't put it in wrong. That's okay. the beauty. It's got a little notch on there. Perfect. And once you stick it in there, it'll snap in, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. No configuring or any weird voodoo stuff. Okay. <laughs> so, but let's say you want to start playing video games. You buy a kind of a bargain basement PC, and you go, oh, I just want to play some video games on here. I want to play World of Warcraft or something. Sure. An easy upgrade is a graphics card. You can add a graphics card in there. These are also just kind of plug oh, right in, right into that. the motherboard. Okay. So you, now, are you allowed to put your finger anywhere on here? Yeah, you, okay. for the You're most part. I mean, you up? don't want to be drinking coffee and you know spilling stuff all over. But otherwise, it's pretty easy to do. And you just slide it right into the slot, and you can upgrade your graphics and play video games and stuff. And you've got a much more powerful PC. Wow. Not to mention, if you've got uh, like Wi-Fi, we were talking about Wi-Fi a few weeks ago with yep. Walt. One of the problems with Wi-Fi is they're always upgrading, going to new versions. Right. Well, on a laptop, if you've got just a Wi-Fi N card or something, that's it. That's all you're going to get. Mm -hmm. But the, you can get the new AC standard with a desktop by putting in a new Wi-Fi card. Okay. So easy upgrades, cost you very little money to do it yourself. Go to YouTube or places like that for yep. instructions. All right, good good info, Ryan. And Thanks. we want to end this little segment with our app of the week because this is a fun one for yeah. people who like to be active. Well, we're both runners. Yes. And, and I use a, a, an app called Rock My Run. My wife found this and because I like to use Spotify's pace setting so uh -huh. you can start running and yep. it'll kind of keep up with you. Well, this Rock My Run is pretty great because it's free. It runs on iOS and Android. And what it does is it matches your pace to how fast you're running based on the accelerometer in your phone. Oh. But it can also, if you pair it with a um, like a heart monitor, right. it'll make your pace the same as your heartbeat. And so it just keeps you motivated and run a little bit faster. You can set it to just slightly faster than you normally run, and it'll kind of motivate you to go even faster than you normally do, okay. which for me, that would just cause me a heart attack. Yeah, the heart rate would start to continuously go, and I'd be <laughs> nervous. Okay, well, that sounds like a really wonderful app if you are someone who likes to go on a lot of runs, track things. Ryan Aldridge, thank yes. you so very much. You're welcome. Always full of good advice. and.